How's it going folks? Just finishing off processing the last of the turmeric that we harvested a couple of weeks ago now from a wicking bed out the back there. Um, some of it has already been used in our cooking. We've added it raw into salads. Um, we've chopped it up fine and put it in stir fries, turned it into paste and put it in curries. Uh, we do use it a fair bit around the place. This last lot though, just to get it off the bench, um, I've had complaints, um, I'm turning into a paste and freezing it in the freezer. So in processing this turmeric, um, it's pretty easy. All I'm doing is putting it in this water just to soak to loosen some of the dirt. I'm breaking off all these little side fingers, um, especially the ones that have uh, little crevices that can collect soil, like under there's a bit of dirt. Um, breaking those guys all off, and these will get scrubbed and thrown in as well. Now with the turmeric itself, I'm processing it with the skin on, mainly because the skin is so thin you could scrape it off with a knife you don't need to cut it off it doesn't um, create any sort of a bit of flavor or anything and there's probably nutrients in there so once all those side bits are off I like to give it a bit of a scrub actually it helps if it stays in the water a little while I pull out another bit um, just sitting in the water for a minute or two just helps to soften up that soil give it a good scrub and that's pretty much all it, nice and clean. And here you can just go into the tin. Um, there are some bits I've already done. Let me find one that have some manky bits on it. This just looks like uh, where a bug or a beetle or something's had a bit of a, a chomp on it. Um, just when it comes to processing, I'm just gonna cut that little bit out. Probably don't need to. Um, it's gonna be cooked at a high temperature once it's used in cooking. So um, that'll probably kill off any pathogens, but yeah, just to play it safe, like to cut it out. So, I've got a bit more scrubbing to do here, and we'll come back when it's time to process them. Also making a bit of a mess too, by the look of it. So to turn this into pulp for cooking, all I'm doing is breaking up the larger bits like this, throwing them in, and then around that size as well. I might just break them in half. These smaller chunks can just go in whole. Then, just popping the lid on the beast, and putting it on high. There's a couple of large chunks in there, so I'll just give it a bit of a stir around. Seems pretty good. And there we go. We have some awesome turmeric pulp. I'll just squeeze a little bit of this out for you. You end up with this beautiful orange liquid but tastes not too sweet not too bitter just wash my hands now so the girls decided i'm not allowed to use the ice cube trays this year so i'm just using these small little plastic trays these guys are going to go straight into the freezer now and i'll show you what they look like once they're frozen just wanted to show you this yellow staining as well. Turmeric will stain the bench. Um, we've found that the normal sponge won't get them off. We got some of these little magic scrubbers uh, just from a $2 shop and they tend to take it straight off the, um, the bench top nice and easy. No stains and no marks left. So always handy to have a couple of these guys around. They do a pretty good job cleaning off any of the turmeric stains. So here you go folks, this is what it looks like all frozen and I've cut it into little bricks. All I'm going to do now is just cut it off into small sections. It helps if it defrosts a little bit first, just using the cleaver like this. And what we can do with this is basically pull out a chunk like that, throw it in the mortar and pestle with the ginger, cardamom and whatever spices and herbs we're using and we can mash it up into a bit of a curry paste. Um, great for the Thai cooking as well. Uh, we use it in pretty much all every curry. I've also found that freezing it helps to break down the cell structure so it makes it a lot easier to work with in the mortar and pestle. Um, we will be drawing some of the yellow turmeric, the madras turmeric, once it um, is harvested but yeah I'll post a separate clip for that so. So I'm just going to finish cutting this stuff up and get it all sorted and put into a bag and frozen. So there you go folks, there's a quick look at how I'm processing the turmeric just to keep it in the freezer. So we've got it on hand to make up curry paste, throw into stews and casseroles and sauces and that sort of thing, nice and handy. Uh, if we do want any fresh stuff, I think the fresh stuff goes through the juicer a little bit better, we can nip on down the back and break 
break off a finger and just chop off a little chunk every day or so and throw that through the juicer. Uh, there's a couple of stands down there. I've got one in a, uh, an IBC wicking bed with some Gallingal and one in a um, just a wicking barrel as well. So should keep us well stocked for the fresh stuff. So I've had a fair few people ask me to do more cooking and processing clips and that sort of thing. Um, I pretty much will tend to do updates on that stuff through our Instagram account. I'll post a picture and a bit of a description and then that gets relayed through to Facebook and Tumblr and then I also pass it on to um, G Plus as well. So links to those accounts are in the description below but I will endeavour to try and do a few more cooking clips just as um, yeah, I get the time to do them. So if this is the first time you've seen one of our clips feel free to subscribe, there'll be a button around here somewhere. Um, we post clips mainly on the garden or aquaponics and stuff like that but you'll get an email whenever we post a clip and you can come along and suss out what we're up to in our small, very small little urban farm. I will pretty much will leave it there though. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions on this or any of the other clips, leave a comment below the irrelevant clip and I'll get back to you where I can. Other than that, I hope everyone is well and happy and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks!